Hi everyone, thanks for coming. And I'd like to give some short talk about a JavaScript from a C++ developer point of view. So how many of you are C++ engineers? Show your hands. Okay, almost most of you. Do we have any JavaScript developers here? Okay, a few of you. And this is what I expected. Do we have anyone that is both JavaScript and C++ engineer? Okay, great. So I cannot say that I am C uh, JavaScript engineer, but I had a unique opportunity to develop some JavaScript projects recently because this is the only language that works in web browsers. And I'd like to share some observations with you. So let me start with something different. This is a picture I found in the internet the other day. And it is from GitHub blog. It shows how many code repositories they have. And as you can see, in 2014, they approached 10 million of repositories. So then I asked myself how many, dev how many developers we have in, in the world. And I wasn't able to find any figures or, or numbers for the whole world, but I managed to, to find on the Satista webpage numbers for programmers in, in UK. And as you can see, the trend here is quite exponential. And when it comes to number of, of people in software engineering, it is linear, at least, at least now. So then I had this question. How it is possible that the growth is linear for number of people, but for projects, it's, it's exponential? And I think two factors are contributing to this. The first one is that hardware is evolving, so does the software meaning that we started with punch tapes like this, literally holes in, in a paper. Then the machines evolved so we could write some mnemonics and they get converted to, to some machine code. So it was much, much easier than, than doing something with a tape. Then in order to actually write any operating system, uh, humans developed programming languages, and this, this one uh, is actually a C. And the next logical step was to, in order to abstract the differences between the, between the platforms, was to introduce a man in the middle called a virtual machine. Uh, so we can code without uh, taking care of things like memory and uh, differences between operating systems. And for Java, it is JVM. For JavaScript, it will be a JavaScript engine in, built in uh, into the web browser. And the second thing is, I don't know whether you will agree with me or not, but I think that more and more people are going to the software engineering industry, meaning that a uh, lot years ago, it was quite uh, quite unusual to, to meet some other software engineer. Now it is being uh, popular, so more and more people are coming to, to us. And I believe that th these easy languages and more people actually is the reason why we have this part here. And actually, if you go to, to the GitHub statistics, you can see that JavaScript is a top language for several years at least. So this is, this is what I think. Do you recognize this lady? Show your hands. Okay, great. She is Margaret Hamilton and she, she used to, to help with Apollo 11. And in this famous photo, she's standing near source code for, for this project. And I think you will agree that this is a lot of assembly, right? But but fast forward to 2016, we can find blog posts like this. Node.js on a satellite means anyone can be a space programmer. So this is how it changed. Anyone now can be a space programmer. And I noticed some interesting thing here as well. Ex nebula ut spatium yolo. I have no idea how to pronounce Latin, but ex nebula is uh, from the cloud ut spatium to the space. It's quite logical, right? It is the shortest path from the cloud to the space. It's shorter than, than from the ground. Nevertheless, I think YOLO is not part of Latin language. 
And I think we, we can have some problems in a near future, like a Houston. What it means undefined is not a function. But let's compare those two languages. C++ is a compiled language that is statically typed and strongly typed, while JavaScript is quite opposite. It's interpreted and it's dynamically typed and loosely typed. So comparing those two is more or less like comparing apples to oranges. But still, I found some interesting thing that, that can be compared, like, like creation, how, how it went from the very beginning. So with C++, it's, it's like an evolution. We started with C, then it was C with classes, then C++, C++11, C++14, and now we are heading towards C++17. With JavaScript, well, it was more like bank and you have JavaScript. The whole language... <laughs> this is HTML uh, presentation. You can click on this link afterwards. I'm not joking. The whole language was created in 10 days, including documentation. One person created a language with the document and documented it in, in 10 days. Amazing, isn't it? So the next thing that I found to be quite similar in our different words is the diversity. Do you know what it is? Here, this is part of Boost Unit's uh, source code. And it doesn't matter where, where you go, uh, what Boost header you open, you will see a code bloated with those if devs because we have different platforms, different compilers, and we need to support them. With JavaScript, it is quite similar in, in some, at some points. In this example, if, if you want to check whether the user escaped from your application by changing a hub, then you, you, you need to access either document.hidden or document.mshidden, perhaps it's from Microsoft, or document WebKit hidden, and it goes like this. So there are some difference, uh, sorry, similarities. And for JavaScript, I think it is maybe the same or maybe even worse. If you have that amount of JavaScript features and that amount of browsers, then if you build a matrix, you can see a lot of incompatibilities between those browsers. So we share, we share the same pain. Another thing that I'd like to check, that I wanted to check actually, and I did it yesterday, is how C++ and JavaScript look like in Google Trends. So as you can see, JavaScript is more popular. It is this red line here. And C++ is slower. And actually, I wasn't looking for this, but it caught my attention. What do you think? From where uh, this, this thing comes? What is the month? It's December, end of December. And I was curious whether this is only for C++ and JavaScript, so I put more languages like PHP and Python, and definitely we have some pattern. But still, my question was, is it true only for the programming languages or not? So we need to put some reference point. And while doing this, I was drinking a beer, so I decided why not put alcohol word here. And, well, let's leave only C++ and operator percent. So clearly you can see that some, something's going on. There can be numerous explanations for this, and one of them, possible explanation, is that programmers are in their basements and they code for one year, and then at the end of the year they go out and then Google how to fight alcohol addiction. <laughs> this is only possible explanation to this. Okay, but let's get back to, to some differences, funny differences between the language, between those languages. Libraries is the most, is the, the biggest thing that differs between, between the languages. This is an example of JavaScript library. The name is positive integer quite useful library, right? And here we have source code for 
this library from February. I'm not joking. This tiny library that only checks whether your number is positive is four lines of code. And from these four lines, three lines are actually importing something. It means that this tiny library has three dependencies. Isn't that crazy? And actually, it could be written in one line. So to put it in, in some other context, let's assume that we'd like to create some directory. And let's see how we can do this in C++ and in JavaScript. So for C++, it is quite obvious we, we just pick a boost file system. It's one line, and we're done. How it looks in JavaScript. I wanted to find some, something similar to, to, to boost file system in, in JavaScript, and I found this file system extra package. And from the description, you can read that it contains methods that aren't included in the vanilla Node.js file system package, such as make directory, copy, and remove. So you know, Python has this motto, batteries included. And I propose a motto for Node.js, only one battery is included, because you can operate on files, but not on directories. Nevertheless, while looking for a library to create a directory, I also found other one, make dear. Quite obvious, right? And then I found another one, safe make do, which is ignoring the fact that uh, when, when the director exists. And then, well, make dear p, make dears, make dear parents, then make path over there, make sub dear, great, make dear recursive. And file system make their P. And I'm going to stop here, but actually, there were one than, uh, more than 100 of those. So, what can I tell? Part of JavaScript community is definitely good at uh, inventing number, number of names for the same thing, and perhaps they are very bad at Googling. Thank you. <laughs>